Hi everybody! Today we are going to be going over how to sign up to parks and recreation programs using our online registration portal. We've gotten a lot of questions about this recently, especially with our programming moving uh, online mostly, and we wanted to go ahead and walk people through that so they knew uh, how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to open up your internet browser. It could be Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari, depending on what type of computer you're using. And in the top search bar, I want you to type in www.urbandale.org. That's going to load the main page for the city's website. At the very top of the screen, you're going to see where it says City of Urbandale, Iowa. And then there are a couple different options on the screen for how do I, departments, business, jobs, volunteering, government, etc. I want you to hover your mouse over departments. So there are two ways that you can select on how to get to the Parks and Recreation Department. You can either hover your cursor over the word department and then just click on Parks and Recreation directly. Or if you click on departments itself, it pulls up a larger page where you can see um, all of the departments listed. Uh, I am going to go ahead and hover over departments, go down to Parks and Recreation and click that. So the Parks and Recreation main page is where you can find all of the Parks and Recreation information. That goes from youth to adult to senior recreation center programming. The sidebar here does lay out the different uh, pages that you can access via the Parks and Recreation page. And the main one that we want to talk about today is classes and registration. So classes, recreation classes and registration gives you a couple different options as well. You can immediately go and register online. You can look at our programming guide. Right now we don't have a lot of uh, programming out on the website because we're programming really quickly. Normally we publish three or four months of programming at a time. Obviously right now we can't do it the way that we normally do. But we are going to practice online registration. So registrations for activities is easy with our online registration system. So you can click this blue bar right here, or you can click up here at the top on the sidebar as well. So give it a click, and it's all going to take us to the same page, which is our registration page. So a lot of the questions that we get about registering for programming is, if I have registered for programming in the Urbandale Senior Recreation Center in person, do I already have an online account? Yes and no. So you do already have an account in the system, you just have not yet accessed it online. In order to access an account when you've already signed up in the rec center in person, you are just going to have to reset your password. And I'm gonna go over that as well. Um, it'll ask you for your email address and then you will uh, get a new temporary password and set your own permanent online password. So let's go ahead and start at the very beginning. Let's say you've never registered online before and you need to create that online account. We're going to click create new account. And the first thing you're going to need is an email address. This does need to be an email that you have access to, so one that you can check pretty quickly. So I'm going to use my city email. I'm going to use my city email. And as soon as you log in, or as soon as you enter that email, a new page is going to pop up for add a new person. This is where you're going to add the information that the computer system needs to save uh, in order for you to be able to register for programs. So the person you want to put on here first is going to be the main account holder, so probably the one who's going to use it the most. Uh, or for people with children, it would be one of the parents. So let's go ahead and take care of all this. And we'll, I am just going to say that I was born on the 1st of January in 1990. Okay. Everywhere that you are seeing these red stars, these asterisks, that is a required field. I'm going to use the senior center for this. You should make sure to use your mailing address. Because the address that you put into this account is where we send refund checks when we process refunds. So make sure to put your actual mailing address. And you can see that it requires a daytime phone and an evening phone. I'm just going to use the center's number. I live in 
Iowa. And this address makes me a resident. Now we're going to set a password for our account. So we can log in again later. And it does require an emergency contact. So I'm going to put my boss, Carissa Williams. She's my friend. And 515. And again, notice that you have to do day phone and evening phone. And then we'll click Submit. And now I have one person entered in our online registration system. You can add a new member if you have a spouse or if you have grandkids or small children. This is where you would add that member. Um, you can also do that while you register. So now that I have an account, I can click Account and I can see my information. Again, from account, I can add a new member. I can edit my member information if my address has changed or anything like that. So now that we've created a new account, let's go over checking to see if you already have one and resetting our password in case you've forgotten it. The reason that we encourage people to create a login is that you can save all of your family members under one Parks and Recreation account. So you don't have to log into two different accounts to sign both you and a spouse or you and a child up for a Parks and Recreation program. If you're not sure, a good way to check is to say forgot password. By you can enter in the password that you think would be associated with your account. So I'm going to do HoyerUrbandale.org and I'm going to click Submit. And what it says is, your temporary password has been emailed to you. Check your email. If you enter an email and you don't get this message, it will usually, or if you get a message that says, we do not have an account associated with this email, it means that you need to go back to the very beginning and create an account. And now that I have that temporary password, I am going to log in. If you have never created an account before, this login page is where you'll see create a new account and I'm going to walk through that with you as well. So once you have created an account or once you have recovered your password, you can go ahead and click sign in. You can see it takes me back to that main page of Urbandale Parks and Recreation. But here on the right side of my screen, you can see it says welcome Katie Poyer. So that's how you can tell that you are logged in, right? I want to go ahead and I want to register for an activity or event. So I am going to click register for activities or events. This is going to pull up a sidebar menu that tells me everything that I can register for right now. So in our 2020 virtual programming, there's a flowers for mom. Uh, you can read a program description when you click on things. This is just a Mother's Day event. You can see how much it costs. You can see how many people have signed up and how many spaces are left. And you can see how long the program runs for. The next thing I'm going to click is go to social distance. You've probably seen this advertised on our social media. Uh, this is an online fitness challenge. Uh, we are going 50K and you can log your activity minutes or your uh, running or walking distance in order to complete the challenge. So you can see it says capacity 100, availability 55, fee $20. And here's a description. And I can even look at a lot more information about the program too. So let's say I want to sign up for the virtual challenge. I'm going to click sign up. This is where when you created that, when you created your account initially, you can add as many family members to your Parks and Recreation account as you want to, to make it easier to sign up. So right here I have Katie Poyer, and if you are here and you just see your name, you can add a new family member at any time. And it's going to ask for some information. Anything that you see that has a red asterisk is mandatory information. So you have to enter information there in order for this to work. Okay, self for the go the social distance 50K. I have to make sure that my emergency contact is populated, including both a day phone and an evening phone, medical notes if any. Down lower on the screen, you'll see there are different questions. What's my shirt size, adult medium, do you need us to mail your shirt? No, additional comments, not necessary. And then all the way at the bottom is an liability waiver agreement. You have to click yes on the liability waiver in order to get to the next page. If you don't fill out any of the information on the registration page, it will send you back to this page. So that's when if you get a notice, I'll show you what it looks like. So if I, if I don't click yes on the read and agree, you must agree to the liability waiver. It tells me that. Or if I take any information out that has this red mark that is mandatory, and then try and click add to cart, it says, please enter emergency contact day phone. So it kind of lets you know what you're doing wrong. 
So now that I've got all my information in it and I've agreed to the liability waiver, I'm gonna click Add to Cart. All right, this is my cart. Just like any online shopping cart, you can edit it, you can delete items in it. There is a timer that expires in 15 minutes after you enter, after you put items into your cart and you can go ahead and register for more activities as well. So if you're registering yourself and a spouse, you'd have to click register again. and go back and enter the activity again and register your second member. Right? Cool. So I can remove those if I want to, or I can go ahead and just click check out. When you pay for, uh, when you register for parks and recreation activities over the internet, you do have to pay with a credit or debit card. Uh, there is no option to pay with check online. There. Some of you might be aware that there is a 3.95% convenience fee added to credit card transactions. Those are only when you are in a physical city of Irvindale building. If you pay online, there is no convenience fee added to your purchase, All right? So you can see it's a flat $40 and I would just enter my name on my credit card, I've got my billing address, type of card, card number, all the same information you would normally enter in order to register for a parks and recreation program. So that's the kind of the whole thing start to finish. Once you enter your information, you can just click pay. Uh, and if you want to register for more, you can click programs or activities. If you're not sure that you registered, click account. And you can see what activities you have registered for. So you can see that I have it go to social distance 50K pending in my cart, right? But I know that I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of my cart. So that's how you can check and see what activities you are already registered for. Uh, you just go ahead and do it however you like. Just remember the Parks and Recreation page and online registration, and that'll get you here and help you out. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to call the Parks and Recreation Department or the Urbandale Senior Recreation Center. Uh, feel free to leave a voicemail, and we're really good about getting back to you very quickly. Otherwise, you can also send us an email uh, but I hope that this video encourages you to sign up for some of our virtual programming that we're doing.